Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Cam here from the Tech Lecture. Today, we're going to be taking a look at process management in Linux. Uh, in particular, this is a CentOS box, but a lot of this is going to be um, usable in both, you know, in all distributions of Linux. So, first thing we're going to take a look at is how to kill a process. So, for instance, uh, let's say we run gedit. So let's open up gedit here. And then we run psocks and let's go ahead and do a grep for gedit. Uh, so psocks is basically going to list all of your processes. Um, so as we can see right here, this is the actual grep that we're running for gedit. And then here is the actual gedit process. So this is the process ID for gedit. All right, so all we're gonna have to do is kill 19843, and that's gonna kill our gedit process. So another way to kill a process. So let's go ahead and run gedit again. Wait for my super slow virtual machine to load up. As we can see, gedit's running there in the background behind my terminal. I can also do a peak kill edit which looks up the particular uh, process I'm specifying and then takes its process ID process ID and kills it so pkg edits gonna do the exact same thing so run gedit again there's also kill all gedit which kills all gedit processes that are you know, so let's say there's multiple users running gedit we can do uh, or multiple gedit processes running on a user we can kill all the gedit processes at once so in order to list your processes on your machine like i said you can run psox so it's going to list all your processes for your machine um, you can take this output and you can pipe it into less if you want to get a more user-friendly view of everything. Um, another thing that we can do is you can run the top command and that's going to show you your highest level processes and you can sort by memory, by CPU or by memory and whatnot. Um, so another tool we have at our disposal is HTOP, which you typically have to install. Um, so with this, uh, it's just a lot more color friendly way to see everything. It makes it a lot easier to sort for things and whatnot. Now if you hit shift greater than, you can pick which thing you want to sort by. So let's say we want to sort by percent CPU. So we can sort by highest CPU percentage. Or if we want to sort by highest memory percentage, we can do that as well. And you can also kill from this as well. Um, you can follow the F keys down at the bottom and kill things from this as well. So it's a it's a pretty cool command as well. We'll probably cover this in another video as well. Alright guys, so that's uh that's pretty much it for process management. Um, if you want to take a look at you can man ps and then uh, you know see us, see what the different options that you can do with ps. I believe ps ox is also a man page. No, it's not. Nope, and no entry for ox. So I guess it's not. Uh, I think that I think Ox might actually be in the man page for yes. Yeah, it's in there all over the place. So if you guys want to take a look at that for uh, some more information on how to do different things and different syntaxes with the PS command and get a little better understanding on Linux process management, I encourage you to do so. Um, if you guys have any questions or uh, recommendations for future videos, please let me know. And uh, so thank you guys, uh, please rate, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for the next video.